We are live here at Festival Hall. Uh, we've got a big gig to go to, but before we do that, we need to catch up with a couple of the lads that will be on stage from Five Sauce. This is a big honour for us, Sarah Marie. Absolutely. We walked past many fans on the way here and they could see that we had recording equipment. I think they jerried to the fact that we were going to meet their heroes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> a couple tried to do the Ninja Turtle thing and jump on the back, but uh, oh, no. <laughs> I bet that's, no, that's nothing new for you guys. No. It's good to be right. back in Melbourne. Actually, one of our first ever gigs was here. Um, and it fell into a sinkhole, so we were off to a good start from day one in Melbourne. We played at the Hub, and it was a church, and we uh, and it fell into the ground, and we had to change our gig to a tennis court at a school. Oh, wow. So uh, hopefully tonight's show will be better than yeah. that. If it's above ground, it's already beaten that one. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No sinkholes at Festival Hall, but you did hear that they were thinking of actually getting rid of Festival Hall oh, at yeah. one point. For what for what reason? Just uh, we played here once actually. We opened for Hot Show right here like years a ago, a long time ago. Yeah. And, and it's the floor and like with the little seats. It reminds me of, it's like a really good size venue for like, you know, bands like us. Would you believe they were going to turn it into apartments? Well, it's pretty sad. I think it's an old venue. I heard the Beatles may have played here. Yeah. Um, we is... spoke with James Bay just the other week, and that's yeah. his favourite fun fact for when yeah. he comes to Melbourne and playing at festival. Yeah. He's like, I have stood on the same stage as the Beatles. Yeah, yeah he did. Wow. February last year. Nice. Okay. So, yeah, well, no, we just love James Bay as well. He's a great, great artist. Yeah. Now, I've got to ask you about something that's been printed in the Daily Mail in a few places at the moment, because I think right. it's a bit harsh. Right. And they've been saying that you guys have been appearing tired while here on the oh, Australian yeah. tour. Oh. And I got offended for you guys. Yeah. Because obviously it's a hard slog. Oh my gosh, we've had the most intense year of our lives. Um, <laughs> it's pretty tiring having a number one record, you know. And so, <laughs> yeah, we are well, tired. Well, we've all had a number one record. <laughs> you know, we've all had no, we three haven't. number one albums on the Billboard <laughs> charts. We get it. No worries, I'm tired too. I don't, I don't, think, uh, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. I think uh, young bands work really hard and especially in an urban and hip-hop landscape you know we're one of the only bands in top 40 and we need to work that extra mile to seem current and modern and uh, we super serve our fans more than most bands or artists in the world so yeah we are tired do you get offended when you see stuff like that printed in the tabloids how do you process it i saw that i uh, <laughs> i go to Callum. did you see this article it's like i showed it to him it's like oh People always think I'm like tired or angry, but it's just my face. <laughs> so I'm just like resting bitch face. Yeah. You have a resting tired face. I guess I guess that's what it is. I don't think you have a resting tired face. Just oh. let the record show. Oh, great. Thanks. <laughs> that's good news. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, so you're halfway through the Take Me With You tour, yeah. and have you seen the movie Almost Famous? Yeah. Yeah. You know how they sing that song, Tiny Dancer? Do yep. you guys have a song that you will like sing as a whole crew? What, just in, in like the... it might not be on a plane, but somewhere on tour. Like Ashton keeps playing. This is the worst answer. Ashton keeps playing uh, Rush, Tom Sawyer before we go on stage. <laughs> I don't know if you know that song. I'm a, I'm a huge rock fan. I think that comes from my Australian roots, obviously. But sure. uh, I... or we'll play like you know rock Australian bands. You know, yeah, we're big into like NXS and stuff like that. But I think. Uh, there's a bunch of incredible Australian artists. I listen to a lot of uh, Troy Sivan at the moment, actually. Uh, How amazing is his latest? And yeah. Bloom, when that dropped, I was like, that is a bop. Yeah, I love yeah. Bloom. I Bloom's think he's really actually good. in a similar creative space as us. I think I see some similarities between Bloom and Youngblood. And it's cool. He's an amazing artist. Sorry to sway your question. No, it's nice to hear other Australian artists champion Australian artists totally. as well. Do you find that there's a nice little Aussie music community now that you guys have been in LA as well? Well, yeah, you see a lot of new songwriters from Australia. You see a lot of uh, artists coming up as well. Um, and it's super encouraging. I, yeah, I want to see more. That was that Australian songwriter that did the the middle. You yeah. know, the huge, huge song everywhere. The Zed song. Yeah. I'm sure you guys have slammed it yeah. <laughs> over here. Yeah, like you mm -hmm. see more and more like Australian writers come over um, to LA, which is amazing. Yeah. Can we play a little game with you and just test your music knowledge, but more see how terrible we are at humming particular songs because, well, we're chatting with one half of Five Seconds of Summer, so we wanted to play Five Seconds of Hummer. Okay, that's nice. Okay. A little uh, a little audio tape, get like a hummer. It's going to be live humming. Sarah Marie, you play with uh, Luke and I'll play with Ashton here. We'll go back and forwards. Okay. The catch is... He's going to have an advantage because she has some sort of musical talent, whereas no, I don't. I'm super monotone. <laughs> All right, then. So you're going to really struggle, okay? All right, let's All right, give I'm it ready. a go. Okay, I'm ready for that. Mm, here we go. Okay. Mm, mm, mm. <clears throat> That's easy. Oh, yeah. cans of burn at midnight oil? Yes. Yeah. All right. Ding. That's fine. That's good. I think you're going to go. Mm, 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 yeah. Mm, 
<laughs> the first chords anyway. that we all learn in music class around like year eight. Okay, here's my one. Oh, I know. Oh, oh, really good. <laughs> Frank, yes, yeah. how good is that? Okay, so we've gone super old school. Ashton, time for something new. Okay, how, how are you with like top 40 at the moment? I'm good, I'm very good. You're in it, but. <laughs> yep. I've been checking, been checking out the competition. Okay, okay, okay here we go. Oh, it's easy. Beautiful. No tears left to cry, Ariana Grande. Yes, well done. Very impressive. Oh. One last one, Luke. Okay, my one's still a bit old school. <laughs> one. Okay, that's all right. All right. Yes, well done. I'm so Great. glad that you said the Billy Joel answer. I'm like, I would take West Life. You know, oh, for their no, cover as no, well. No, no. They did a cover. They did. I actually thought it was Jersey Boys. <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's not. I just listened to Billy Joel. That's so weird. Um, Billy Joel live in Russia. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. really? <laughs> did he play up Tango? He did. Well, there you go. Yeah, 1987. Yeah. He loved it. All right, guys. Well, we better let you get back to it, get ready for the gig. But it's been awesome having a chat to you. Looking forward to the show. And look, it's great having you in Australia. Yeah, thanks for having us. We'll yeah. see you guys next time. Yeah, hopefully you can come down to Geelong. You're always welcome. Thank, Thank you. Me. Thanks for uh, playing our songs and hope you enjoy the show.